Hello there! This video is to how to remove a manual window crank handle from a car. And guess what? There's more good news. I'll even tell you how to put it back. Welcome to Car Spy TV. Right, here's how to remove a manual window crank handle from a car. There are three components to note which, to make it easier to see what's happening, are temporarily separated. Naturally, there's the crank handle itself. There's this spindle on the door. And finally, there's this metal clip that stops the handle falling off the spindle. When the handle is properly secured to the spindle, the clip is positioned like this. Naturally, therefore, the clip has to be removed. But how? There are various techniques, but I like to simply push it back with a flat-headed screwdriver. And there we go. Let's now replicate this technique on the car. So, peer behind the manual window crank handle and look for the clip. There's one of its tips. And there's the other. If you can't see the clip, simply turn the handle until it becomes visible. Now, as I showed you earlier, push the clip back with a screwdriver to remove it. We're doing exactly the same as before. And there it is. Next, pull the handle off the spindle like this. Good, we're making progress. But how do we put the car back together? To replace the manual window crank handle, first fit the metal clip. It slides on like this. Have a closer look at how it's positioned. For example, the clip slides through these two slots. Next, push the handle back onto the spindle. Now give it a firm tap to connect the clip. And finally, check the window works normally. And that's it. That's how to remove a manual window crank handle from a car. Now, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That makes it easier to find my other videos. You can also ask any questions in the comment section. Oh, and do me a favor and click like on this video. Right, that's all for now. What's this still doing here?